Welcome to Very Classic Kitchen. Today I'm going to be preparing ship head fish. I'm going to be frying it. I already started cutting the head because my pan is not enough to hold this big unless you roast this but I um, wanted to uh, fry this. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cut the head. You can use this head for soup or anything. And I'll leave it here. I'm gonna go ahead and score this. And it's already, you can tell the fish that it's fresh, the eye. And you can open it here. Shouldn't see any uh, red eye or uh, when you touch the skin, it's not slimy, it's clean. And I'm going to start scoring it. Just like this. Let's hit the diagonal. Make sure you go deeper. This helps the fish to cook evenly. Get to this side too. And it's dry. I already um, dried the fish, so you don't have a lot of splash, but I'm gonna go ahead and dry it more. Like this. So on this side, dry it, pat it well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt. It's a big fish. And mix it right here. Inside. I'm going to add garlic just to infuse the oil for flavor and I'm going to use the garlic later too. Once it did the job I'll remove it and use it later for the sauce. against you just like so you start with the tail the left foot The best for the top. Mm 
I'm not adding any flour or anything. I just like it as is. But you can uh, put on cornstarch or regular flour. And you can even roast this. It's a good fish. And I'm gonna make. Um, I'm gonna continue cooking this for five minutes for each side. All right, now our fish out. Okay, to put it right over here. amazing all right I'm gonna do the sauce that goes right on my fish I have a uh, palm sugar over here you just shave the sugar or you can use brown sugar if you don't have one put this on the side over here I'll chop my bird eye chili it's really spicy Thai chili Super fine. Want it to be spicy. Garlic, the one I used earlier. I need to chop the super fine. They're very soft and tender. the garlic ginger the chili paper I'm gonna add some mushroom I I'm using dry shiitake mushroom just I just soak it with hot water and that's it you can find this in Asian market if you don't want if you don't like mushroom, you can just get this part. Also gonna add bak choy baby bok choy. Love bok choy. Make sure you clean the bok choy because right in the bottom sometimes you'll find some Alright, I have my 
uh, mushroom mixture here and I put the back jar right around it and I'm gonna what I did with this skillet it's already hot in the oven so I don't have to worry about my fish will get cold and I just slice So gonna add sesame oil because I don't want the sesame oil to get burnt. So I add both together. All right, my oil is hot over here. Oil and put the mushroom mixture that the one I made earlier, and I added my uh, green onion, little bit of garlic chive, and that's it. And the mushroom and everything. Now drizzle this side of the top here this is it I have my lemon or lime and this is all you need heavy look at this And there you have it. Simple, easy, you can serve your family a fish dinner. As I said, you can even roast this instead of uh, frying it, but this is easier. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.